I hate these, I still love the good old sound of money. Hey everybody, welcome back to um, New Samar Brothers U coin challenge. Challenges in general for the MJ 406. And we're going to start with the Attack of the Bobombs for more awesome coin challenges. All right, goody goody goody. I think I hate this one. Actually, I have to use the Bobombs effectively. I suck at using them effectively. Sometimes they chained up, but they don't. They just freaking go their own accord. Hard to die on this one, but it's still annoying to get through. Especially if you're trying to get gold. Oh god, there's way too many bombs there. on screen they won't even bring out anymore. Oh! Damn it. Be lucky to get bronze on this one, because this one's really hard. And oh, damn it. Oh yeah, I chained that one. Yep, I didn't get it. Ah, uh, yay! Give it another go, huh? Man, this challenge sucks. Perfection! Alright, that worked. It was perfection, but it worked! Oh, crap. I don't even care what the fastest method is to this. I just want to do it in a way where I can actually get everything for once. Well, it'll be until I can actually do it, but we'll find out shortly. Hopefully. Come on. Huh. Why did that one take damage? Oh, wow, I didn't fall through. Damn it. That was me being stupid again, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't been able to find that sign by now, you need to watch more. Oh, wow. Apparently my jumping is very imprecise. And I also forget that I can use my gamepad again, because I always forget that. And like this, you can play on either screen. Or both screens, however you would prefer. However, when you're doing single player on your own, you can't control both the screen and yourself. Good, it'd be too easy. I guess that's the way they see it. It would actually take a lot of work to be able to control both and the way without, like, dying. But, whatever. Come all up. Yeah! Alright, well, I get to complete it with silver. Alright. And I am the bomb. Yeah! Huh, look at that. He's a little hat. Mario, bomb form. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, Spine Coaster Coin Cruise. This one's a little better than the other spying coaster because it's out in broad daylight. At least 120 coins, but probably hit 140. See, there you go. Mushrooms. They allow you to actually take damage on this one. I like that a lot. You don't just die immediately. By the way, you can tell if the uh, coins are upside down. There's a way you can tell the coins are upside down. You gotta look closely, though. Oh god, it's not easily noticeable, but... If you have a good eye, you can tell the coins are about to move. Because if it's right side up, then you know it's in its natural position. It means the coins, they're not gonna make the level move the coins. That's what I'm basically trying to say, if they're upright. Oh great, I don't have a star. That's gonna make this fun. Isn't this fun? I die, aren't I? 
Find out! And here comes death. Later. Checkpoint rings are good to get on these challenges because not only can they help you get a power up, they also help get you more coins. Now you can kill fuzzies. Aw, oh, baby. You bastard. That was close. Never have to at least get bronze. Oh, God. They, that whole bunch of coins at the end. Which I believe you kill fuzzies and make them drop coins, you get bonus coins. Which is why that fire flower is useful. And I didn't even get close. Hey, let us go to uh, Castle Coin by. Oh, this one's tough. The five star ones are always a pain. Get through this one while grabbing very few coins. This castle can be quite bad when it comes to this, but. You know? Let's take it, let's take it this way. This isn't the worst one. But which one is it? Believe me, it's worse than this. Oh, damn it. Really hard to make proper steps to not get these coins. I hate this challenge. Actually get through it, but ah, doing it without grabbing coins is a completely different story. Man. How oh, they torture people this way. And I don't think any of these um, uh, blocks have any, um, damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? Power-ups. Most likely all coins, so don't get your hopes up! Ow. What? Pretty much just gotta go platform to platform and hope you don't grab any thing. You know, block, well that sucks for you. Ah, these jumps are just ridiculous. Oh, we not try and slide, but fun never ends, I suppose. Ow, the fun never ends! What? This is a tough spot. I don't even remember how to get through that spot without grabbing those coins. Yeah. We just have to jump under to avoid getting any of those coins. Oh, there's gotta be a way you can, like, flip over somehow without grabbing the coins there or the coins above. Doesn't seem like it, though. It is, well, good job, Nintendo. You've hidden it very well. Ah, crap. Well, if I get through this stage, I'm probably gonna end up getting bronze. Oh, well. With three deaths, I'm gonna try not to get any more. Oh, God. Yep, there's bronze. Damn it. God damn it. I'm just terrible. Grabbing coins everywhere I go. I already have five. If I grab one more, I'm done. Only that would be a power up, but I'm sure they made it coins now. And the red coin ring is here as well. A remnant from the actual level in the game. Damn it! And I got burned anyway. What? Alright, it's one more for the road. Ugh. Man. The five star coin challenges, pretty much all of them are terrible. Coin challenges, in my opinion, the five star ones are the hardest ones. I hate all of them. These levels really well without grabbing a single coin is extremely tough. I just gotta memorize the way to get through. But I'm kind of thinking, you know what? Hard enough as it is, getting through five star stages. Even if I do pass it, I guess I'll show the replay on gold just to 
know how you can do it perfectly. I think that's a good enough reward for having to sit through the torture of me not being great. I am doing a little better right now. Really, it's still not enough. Still got two coins earlier. I don't remember how to avoid one of them. Still go the secret areas here. They don't know. Probably got silver. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Time to show off time. gold. Did manage to get through while grabbing none. They have a way. As hard as it may be to find, they have a way. Let's go see exactly what it is, eh? All right, let's check it out. In my form. Yep, that's about the same thing I did. I did. What I got here? I jump over it or go under it somehow? Side. Ah, I jumped around it. Okay. That will explain that. That makes sense. And I pretty much did the rest of it right. And these whenever you want, by the way. I just wanted to see the part I couldn't do, but you guys got to see the rest of it. Alright, next we'll do... Oh, here is the worst challenge to me in the entire game. Don't touch anything. You have to get all the way to the goal with two conditions. No coins, and no enemies killed. A coins one is already difficult enough. But when you have to avoid enemies and not even touch them... Just torture! I doubt I'll get gold on any of these runs. I doubt I'll complete it, but... I guess we'll see how far I can go. Why not? Not fun if I don't try. Oh! And yeah, there's silver. Oh god, I almost killed that enemy. Oh boy. Did you see yet how it's hard? Oh damn it. You just gotta think about how you wanna run across about getting a single coin. A lot harder than it sounds. Pretty much have coins laid out everywhere for you to just run up and grab them, but to getting through the level without grabbing the coins is much easier said than done. About timing your runs. Oh wow, that was crap. I didn't expect that. And the multiple lackatoos are not very helpful, I'll say that much. Oh yeah, here's this. Oh crap. Good luck getting through that without grabbing any of the coins. Ow. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Not cool, you stupid lackatoos. It's like you have to do a speed run, a coinless run, and a no-kill run all at the same time. Can't kill an enemy, and you can't grab a coin. If you try to go slow, you won't be able to make it through the level. Simple as that. Billy really torch you in this one. Think how you want to go through it. Because I can't do it. <laughs> I don't even remember the best way to do it. But I'll give it one more go and see if I can figure it out. Probably not. We'll find out. Oh boy. Oh god, that was close. 
how I screwed that one up. Oh, damn it. I already got the silver. Turn five seconds, I'll be saying I already got bronze. Done. All right. No, I don't have to say it yet. Oh, your jumps are good enough. You can't avoid a lot of these coins. This section, that's horrible. Time your jump height. You have to make your jump height absolutely perfect. Ow! Way to peg me, you dick. Alright, let's see the replay of how to get through this one. This is the challenge that I spent hours trying to do, and for some reason I thought going hatless would make it easier. This right, the way I thought I did. Oh, okay, I jumped over it apparently. I waited. Oh, patience. Oh, I forgot that concept. Damn it. My big head is deceiving though. how I managed to make myself get used to that, but I did. I get over those coins. Oh, I used the block. Oh. And that. That was difficult to pull off. Time your jumps. Way too perfectly for this. I hated it. Until you're on the final stretch when you got here. As soon as you got to that green block, you were golden. Oh man. That is prop my least favorite challenge in this game, just because it's so damn hard. Alright, since we got some time left, let's go over the one-up rally. These ones are the shortest challenges. Oh, they have their difficulties. The Goombrat Stomp. Couple the goon brats without touching the ground to earn one ups. This is basically testing basic jumping skills. This challenge. I managed to get all three very easily. You can tell the one up challenges, um, the beginning ones are super easy. So I tie the high scores, so now I can choose oh, do I want to save this one or keep it? Nah, I'll keep the one I have. I don't want to save any of these ones I already have recorded. Now, here's where it gets a little more difficult. Jump on enemies without touching the ground. Challenges end as soon as you touch the ground once you start a one-up chain. Now, and if you don't get any, well, you screw up. I'll make it so to get bronze, all you do is at least start the chain. Consolation. Of course, I can do better than that. Or not. <laughs> I guess I can't do better than that. You basically, just gotta learn the order you want to go across these in. I think about which Koopas you want to hit first. The thing to remember is that they do come out of their shells eventually, so. Just gotta use that timing. For advantage. That timing. The updraft move. You pounce. Or just go at your own pace. Well, you don't do anything stupid, it's not that hard. I've already got silver. And again, one-up chaining in these games are usually that hard to do. Ah, crap! You gotta be careful, though. Even if you're off by a bit, you can screw it up. At 32, but I guess I'll just take the 20. Okay, Goomba Bounce Bash. This one's a little difficult, if I remember. Two star, but it is tough. I think 
The... Yeah, the cloud counts as ground. I was gonna say maybe it didn't, but it did. I was wrong. Eh. Clouds to bounce up to get a good initial. But you got started. You can't hit those clouds again. I'm sure, you can at least hit somebody. Damn it. You're allowed to get hurt in these challenges, but as long as you do not hit the ground, you will not die immediately. See? I lost it. And the challenge is still going. I never use my spin more often. Hey, that's three now. Wow. Am I actually going to die that many times on this challenge? Apparently so. Wow. Here we go again. needs a squirrel suit? All I need are my spins. And my spinny stylish moves. Oh yeah. Haha! -ha! Damn it. Whoa, that cloud looks like it just got a... I don't know, I flattened it pretty bad. But this didn't even get close match to my 45. Okay, I think the last one we'll do for this episode is Penguin Bowling. So I can slide into... Penguins! As long as I continue to slide, the one-up strand will not end. And spin while you're in this mode. I don't know if it actually helps you with height, but... I guess it's good to have. And I'm help with height. Wow. I've never been able to get to the flag without having very little. Wow. They even have a disappointment thing for if you get to the flag with not enough kills. No. And fail. I, I figured, but I kind of thought they wouldn't just... I don't know, I kind of thought something different would happen than what happened. This one requires precise timing as well. A lot of these one up ones do. And they require you to actually jump well. Unlike what I've been doing. Don't die if you just stop sliding. You just fail if you don't get that chain enough. I've gotten all 32, though. Alright, so that wasn't too hard. Alright, so we'll just end it here, and we'll start the three-star difficulty next time, which will be the more difficult one-up rallies. I don't even know why I need a life. I like the one I have, damn it.